you, Jesus. God, we have so much to be thankful for. For the good things, we thank you. And even for the bad things, God, we thank you for your pruning us and helping us to grow in you. God, we want to be close to you. For anything that we have that's distracting us, I ask in the name of Jesus to remove it now. And I pray that we receive a word from you, that we leave without, uh, we don't leave empty handed. And God, again, we just want to give you thanks and praise because you are so awesome. Amen. Turn with me to Ephesians 2, 8 through 10 for our affirmation of faith. And it states, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of ourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which the Lord has before ordained that we should walk in them. I pray that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you are thankful to God for what he has done for you in your life, just go ahead and say amen. 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 Say glory to God. I just want to take some time to welcome all of our guests and all of our visitors, all those who are visiting here for the first, second, or third time. Go ahead and wave your hand. I'm going to say amen for you and celebrate you. You could have been anywhere else, but you chose to be in the house of God today. So we praise God for you. If you are a first, second, or third time guest or visitor, go ahead and raise your hand. Is this a freak? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We have a whole group over here to our left. God bless you. You are good and your mercy is
verses 18 and 19. It says, But Samuel ministered before the Lord even as a child, wearing a linen ephod. Moreover, his mother used to make him a little robe and bring it to him year by year when she came up with her husband to offer the yearly sacrifice. I waited patiently before the Lord, and he inclined unto me, and heard my cry. Mm -hmm.